Welcome again to Bees on Main here in beautiful downtown Stoughton. I'm Rich Morris, a lead drone at Broodminder, and uh, this is our global production facility. Uh, today I'm in the back of our uh, new, newly restored production facility that Laura just finished, and uh, we're back here and we're really happy about that. I uh, also want to show you today uh, the W3. So the W3 we've been working on this summer as some improvements to the W2. We wanted to make it so that it was easy for people to make it home and also uh, to be very rugged. So um, we're going to sell it three different ways. One is if you want to buy all the piece parts on this symbol, that's fine. Uh, we're also going to sell it like this where we've assembled the electronics and the uh, sensors and then we've also calibrated it. So all you have to do is snap it together and put it on and we'll sell the whole thing too. The big advantage of buying it this way is shipping is a lot cheaper and especially when we're shipping internationally that's a that's a big help to us. Uh, so anyway uh, Josh is going to assemble one here and I'll talk about it over it. So we're just going to uh, describe what's going on here in the video. So uh, you start by building the frame out of two by fours or like I said you can also use a, a, a bottom board pretty much anywhere that you can do that. One of the things we found is that if you can keep it very flat, that helps uh, just with getting all four feet on the ground. Uh, of course, you can also put shims or something underneath it uh, to help with that. So uh, we pre-drilled the holes and we're putting in some long uh, uh, screw, wood screws so that you can put it together. All these parts we just uh, go ahead it's uh, a lot of trouble to find all the parts if you're doing one of them but if you're doing lots then that's fine. And here Josh is putting the uh, sensor holders on and we've put them on at an angle just so that we get a lot of purchase on the wood. So we have big screws which keep everything from sliding around and uh, do a good job of holding the sensors yeah, a sixteenth of an inch off the wood or so. Uh, we need to do that so that the feet work right there. And then after those get put on, then we will install the next part. Okay, so now you can uh, put on the electronics. And if you take the lid off, you'll see there are two screw holes which are outside the electronics enclosure so that it's stays waterproof uh, and you drop them down in those little things and then just screw it on I once again you can put it wherever you want we just uh, designed it uh, for this 2x4 system then all the sensors go in their little holders there and we've got uh, 16 brass screws that uh, hold the sensors in place now one thing we want to make sure is that when you put those down, don't pull them down super tight uh, because you don't want to bend the weight sensor. So they keep them from moving around. Uh, you, know, you can just bring it down snug and that'll work out just fine. So there we skipped ahead a little bit to show the last screws going in place. Okay, once those are in, then we want to secure the wires. And we found uh, this sort of neat uh, um, channel that comes on a roll and has sticky on the back. So you can bend it and put it on there. Uh, now you can use anything you want. Uh, we just have found that this works out pretty well. Uh, some of the first ones we just taped in place. Uh, if you look at our manual, uh, we've done a lot of different ways. So we start by putting just one of those down because we're going to fold the wires into the other half of it. And then you'll put the uh, little short piece from the, on the uh, short side of it. Okay. And you want to be careful when you're snapping it closed that you know, the wires are inside and that you don't, you don't cut them. Once it snaps shut, it is really really good and tight now if for some reason you have wet wood or something like that i'd go ahead and put it on and then 
you know, like uh, put a, a big staple over the top to hold it in place. All this is doing is protecting the wires. Um, we know that beehive equipment gets abused quite a bit, so we just want to uh, protect them from getting, getting snagged. Uh, you notice the wires just sort of run down into the corners there again, you know, just to protect them. And then you're all done. Um, we install the batteries and put the lid on. Uh, you'll want to inspect the uh, gasket to make sure that it's on there right. And then screw it down. And it should be running at this point, so you can check it with your phone or with the app. Um, and like I said, it's already been calibrated, so it's ready to go. Uh, you'll see um, seven or eight pounds on it just because of the weight of the two by fours. Put the sticker and done. all done. So there you have it. Um, you can see it goes together pretty easily. Uh, Joshua sped up a little bit, so it's not quite that fast. But uh, you know, we really like the way it's turned out. Uh, it seems you know really rugged, and will be able to take the abuse that happens in a bee yard. Uh, you know, when you get it out there, if it's not quite level, don't worry about it. You know, just put a shim under a foot. It doesn't matter too much because since we're taking the weight on all four feet, uh, it'll turn out even if one foot's sort of floating and, and that sort of thing. Um, the other thing we did was we mounted the box inside so that it's protected and also so that it gets the temperature, you know, in the shade of the hive and it should be a little bit uh, more accurate. Uh, once it's there, then, you know, take your bottom board, put it on top however you want. Uh, you know, you can customize, make whatever size uh, you need. And uh, we think you'll really like it. Uh, we're having a good time with them ourselves. So, uh, thanks for watching. And remember, every hive counts.